Welcome, uh, my name is Valerio Schiavoni from the University of Neuchâtel, Switzerland. Uh, I will be presenting to you the Legato project, a low energy, secure and resilient toolset for heterogeneous computing. Um, this is the presentation that was supposed to be given at the DATE uh, 2020 conference that is now to be a virtual conference. The ambition of the Legato project is to create a software uh, stack a full uh, software stack support for energy efficient heterogeneous computing. Um, this is a uh, the idea is to start from a made in Europe mature software stack and optimize the stack uh, through uh, uh, optimize the stack uh, through all the layers uh, to, uh, toward energy efficiency. Um, this is a European developed uh, heterogeneous hardware substrate with CPU, GPU, FPGA, and uh, FPGA based data flow engines. And once again, the support is energy efficiency. The main uh, goal objectives of the, pro of the Legato project are to achieve one order of mag magnitude improvement in energy efficiency for er heterogeneous hardware through use of energy optimized programming model and runtime, to reduce by five, or by five orders of magnitude the mean time to failure through energy efficient software based fault tolerance techniques, to reduce once again, the size of the trusted computing base by at least one order of magnitude and to reduce and to increase in the productivity of, of FPGA designers through the use of, of novel features for hardware uh, design using data flow engines. Uh, this is the list of partners in, 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 uh, in, in Legato. Uh, it's a, it's a well-balanced uh, consortium of uh, academics and as well as industrial uh, partners. The overview of the project, uh, as an overview, I, we can see at the bottom there is uh, our set of heterogeneous hardware platforms. And then on top of it, we, we build uh, novelty on, on, for, on fault tolerance techniques, security and productivity. We achieve this uh, by extending and improving uh, the Nanos uh, compiler and the, and the Mercurium compiler to produce and support the OMS runtime, a task-based uh, execution uh, uh, framework, and on top, uh, and we we exemplify this uh, uh, the contributions uh, through a, a diverse set of uh, uh, use cases, such as smart homes, healthcare, and machine learning. In terms of hardware platforms. We can mention the, the, the Rexbox, which is a, a heterogeneous platform supporting at the same time uh, CPUs, GPUs, and FPGAs. The Maxeller, uh, um, the Maxeller uh, hardware box as well, the, the, called the Maxeller BFE, which we will detail in the next uh, slides. In terms of the Rexbox, it's a it's a heterogeneous microserver approach which integrates GPU, CPU, and FPGA. It achieves a high speed, a low latency communication between the nodes. It uh, increases the support for accelerators and it ach achieves, uh, it supports uh, the, the uh, it allows us to scale easily by adding uh, um, on the fly new nodes. The Max Zeller data flow computing system is instead a one new uh, eight data flow engine in, uh, in embedded in a one new unit. It supports uh, uh, technologies such as RDMA, um, a lot of uh, uh, RAM for uh, speci specifically dedicated for DFE. And uh, in terms of performances, it is equivalent to a 20 to 50 uh, x86 servers when compared to, uh, to, the, to, the, to, to a given uh, workload. And uh, one thing we would like to mention is that the, the DFE the, from Maxeller, is, it supports the same APIs as the Amazon EC2 F1, which allows us to, to support an hybrid, an hybrid cloud model. On-premises, one can use the, the data flow system from Maxeller, and when you need to elastically expand, you can uh, start instantiating uh, new instances on Amazon Cloud. In terms of programming model, we, uh, we support four different ones, uh, OMPS, uh, Max Compiler, Defiant, and uh, Chital, which we will now uh, detail, uh, we will detail next. 
And why we need to do that? Because we want to have one single source for any target. And this allows us to support uh, different architectures, to increase pr productivity, to allow developers to only write once and implement uh, and run everywhere a given program, and of course to optimize performances. Um, we uh, use the OMPS uh, runtime to do this, which uh, is basically a sequential task-based programming model uh, and that we extend uh, to support, uh, let's say, uh, energy efficiency uh, concerns. We have some preliminary results, uh, for instance, to, to extend OMPS uh, to, to run on top of FPGAs. And we, we can see here our, our, our results on the Xilinx um, uh, board. Um, and we can see uh, that in some cases we achieve uh, uh, several orders of, of magnitude uh, improvements uh, using our platform. Then in terms of productivity, we can mention the Defiant HLS, which uh, allows us to, to bridge the program programmability gap by using uh, constructs and semantics from software, hardware, and as well as data flow uh, languages. And this allows us to, to come up with a middle ground between HDL, HDL and high-level sequential programming, which end up in uh, having uh, support for uh, several uh, features that would not be available otherwise uh, only in the same uh, uh, environment, such as support for concurrency or automatic pipelining. The other uh, backends we support are the Max compiler that would allow us to improve uh, the, the workflow of applications by, uh, by using a, a task-based approach. Um, Um, our our uh, task-based kernel identification uh, mapping uh, basically allows us to identify a static uh, task graph while running uh, the the program, and then DFE DFE will will uh, will list, will uh, will uh, improve this at runtime. The Chitao uh, runtime is is, uh, is is basically our support to to, to deploy uh, generalized tasks where we have uh, some 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 graph and this is mapped to uh, a, a varying number of cores, either with a one to one classic mapping, uh, m to one with the task coarsening, uh, and this you can do to reduce uh, task overheads or to 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 improve uh, parallel parallel uh, slackness, um, or uh, Chitao allows us to to support a M to N model, and basically uh, supporting uh, elasticity. elasticity. The 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 main contribution of Legato in terms of support for OMS and Chitao is to extend it for heterogeneous resources basically supporting uh, FPGAs, uh, GPUs, uh, multi-core environments, and etc. One of the contributions that, that uh, were, were executed in the context of Legato was to, to achieve, uh, uh, to try to, to, to exploit uh, FPGAs and to, to do voltage scaling. Um, to do that, we 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 have some prelim some preliminary contribution that basically allows us to uh, to to quadratically decrease the power the power required by the given FPGA and at the same time deliver savings of more than uh, tenfold. Um, more details you can find in the paper. In ter in terms of use cases, uh, Legato supports. And, and uh, our partners uh, have developed a very diverse set of uh, use cases. Uh, one is on in the in, in the domain of healthcare, where we want to detect uh, infection biomarkers. Uh, uh, another one is in the context of smart home, uh, where you require assisted living, basically learning how users behave, anticipate their behavior. 
uh, we have an additional use case uh, developed in the context of smart cities to, to model uh, um, pollution flows in a given city. We have um, a, a machine learning use case where we, we want to achieve automated driving and graphics rendering, as well as uh, one regarding secure IoT gateways. All these, all these uh, use cases uh, exploit the Legato toolchain, and for instance, in the, in the context of Smart City, we achieve a sevenfold uh, gain in energy efficiency by exploiting FPGAs. In the context of healthcare, we achieve a 822 speed up using FPGAs and basically enabling a new world of biomarker analysis. And in the context of machine learning, we achieve a, six fold, a, six, a 16 fold gain in, in energy efficiency and performance on the same hardware using the embed DL optimizer. And as a, as a last remark, uh, we also have one additional use case regarding a smart mirror, which basically allows us uh, to, to guide the, the, the behavior of, it, of the user looking at its own uh, mirror and providing instructions or, or guidance regarding different uh, criteria. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, I, I point you to the project website where we can find more details. Thanks.